Today's Ask Me Anything goes out to Joe Robinette, who um, he and I are doing something kind of special where we're training his dog, Tripper, to be a great outdoor dog, a camping dog, a wild, uh, not a really wild dog, but a dog that uh, can go out in the wilderness. I guess a wilderness dog, you want to call that. And uh, Joe reached out to me for some tips to, to get some training started. And uh, Tripper is going to be a great dog. I got a good feeling about it. Joe's really dedicated to it. And the first thing is getting Tripper used to being in a canoe. So what you want to do, I know you want to take the dog out in the canoe, but I don't want you to do that just yet. What I want you to do is to make sure there's no failures. Take the canoe, put it on the ground, and, um, and start feeding the dog a bunch of treats to get the dog to climb in and out of the canoe, climb around the canoe, and, um, and make it all a really positive experience. So the more treats you can give him, the more you can get him used to it being unstable, maybe when he's in it, move it a little bit. All those kind of things are gonna be suspicious to the dog, and you don't want him to be suspicious when he's in the water and he flies out of the canoe. So. Uh, I would start using some treats, lure the dog around the canoe, lure the dog into the canoe, um, have him in the canoe, start moving the canoe a little bit while he's in there, and then, um, and then f maybe feed him a couple times in the canoe. Make sure everything positive is happening in the canoe, that he stays in there, that he's eating in there. Um, I wouldn't really play games. I try to keep his drive a little bit lower. He's a duchy, so his, his tendency is going to be to go really crazy, but you have to go real slow. I wouldn't take it out in the water just yet. I'd probably spend a day or two getting him um, used to it, like I said, on the land, moving it around a little bit, him in where you want to start sitting him in the canoe because I know you're going to probably want to have a special spot for him in there um, and just get him used to being in that spot feeding him get have that be his special place and um, and, and just make that that experience super super positive um, moving it and then maybe in a day or two move it on to you know into the water a little bit let him start to see the imbalance because the the, 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 uh, the stability of the canoe is going to change so that's super simple hope you have having fun keep me posted and uh, if you got a question ask me anything